What up guys, welcome to episode six of the Stud Muffin Series to Shredding. Today we got a lower body day and I'm really excited because usually on cuts, my bench goes away, my squat goes away, but today I'm gonna aim for a PR. This is the first time that I've been under 180 in almost over a decade. I've been so hovering- Middle school, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been hovering around 178, 179, I hit 405 for five last week, so today I'm gonna hit 405 for six is the goal. What are you hitting today? So I'm gonna be doing some hack squats since you can make those adjustments for your own programming. Bart's still focused on big three barbell lifts, whereas I've always just been focused solely on hypertrophy, which is the nice thing about this program. So you got that strength and hypertrophy mix in there, and you can always go one more way or the other depending on your goal. So. So what's cool is at the end of the program, we have a whole alternative exercise list. So depending on your goals, like where you're gonna go after this program, or if you have any training limitations, like injuries or mobility issues, we have a whole list that you can swap in and out of. The core training concepts are the same, which is why me and JP are hitting the same day, which is legs, chest, and tries but uh, in the beginning of the workout, it's slightly different. Yeah. And the nice thing about that too, is if you find that you've been running one of those exercises before you even came to the program, and you run it maybe four weeks, five weeks in, you can always switch it out with one of those alternatives and maybe break through that plateau. And then even if you run the program again, you can always just switch out those exercises. Very true. Let's get to it. I'm out of pucker. Mm. No. Training old school Arnold style today. No music, which is kind of interesting, but also kind of refreshing a little bit. We'll just hear weights, Ugh. grunts of a Chinese and a Filipino man. This guy's crazy. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one headphone in, honestly. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going for a PR on the axle, I'm oh, putting, okay. putting one headphone in. I yeah, might need to turn on music for my yeah. for my top set. I, honestly, I'm used to it though, because when I film like my vlogs and my videos with like when I'm yeah. mic'd up, I'm yeah. not listening to anything. So it's just my own thoughts, my own intrusive thoughts. Mid set. Most of my thoughts are, you can't do anymore. Just yeah. put it away. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. No. See how he has no weight on there. <laughs> we just start with one plate. We're strong like that, you know. Plus, this also weighs more than a barbell. So if anything, this is this is way harder than powerlifting. I don't know. What do you guys think? <sighs> One thing different that I've been doing for this program before squats is I actually warm up uh, intentionally bar high bar and then bar low bar. So I like doing the bar high bar because it helps remind me that what am I doing this movement for because it is for our bodybuilding show. So it kind of helps me uh, like activate my quads a little bit more. And then once I get them engaged, then later when I go heavy, uh, I already feel like I kind of have like a nice prep to push off the quads and kind of get into that mind-muscle connection. And that's something I usually don't do when I'm powerlifting. Powerlifting is straight max weight. How much can you squat? It doesn't matter which, am I using more glutes, back, quads, doesn't really matter. Just gotta get the weight up. But for this one, for the purpose of power building, um, I wanna make sure my quads are firing because later on I have leg extensions where I go ham. So I wanna wake them up early on. <laughs> With machines like this, if you have a good setup, then everything else kind of just falls in place. Versus people who have a bad setup, 
and then when they go into their set, they have to cue all these different things just to make the set feel good. Whereas if I know my feet are exactly where they need to be, and I've tested that over multiple warm-up sets, then I know as soon as I start my working set, that all I have to think about is just pushing, basically. So now all I think about is bracing and just pushing through the foot plate. Uh, I don't have to think about like, oh, knees out, you know, like my toes gotta go this way. No, you just wanna nail the setup, makes it way easier. I think six plates, maybe? Six hopefully. plates? Oh, hopefully. I don't know, I can't remember how much I did God for this one last time. damn! I think I might have hit like five and a quarter last time, so. Fucking yeah. shit. But this one's different from my hack spot back home, so. Is it harder, yeah. easier? It's or? easier. So seven plates? That'd be cool. <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn. It's four, I'm trying to. Damn, seven plates? Damn, I'm gonna fuck crazy. Hey, put in the comments if JP should do a powerlifting meet. Ooh, ooh, that'd be crazy. Hey, JP, would you ever be down to do a powerlifting meet? Would I do a powerlifting meet? Maybe one day, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you did a bodybuilding, you know, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it just makes sense. Dude. That'd be cool. I think it'd smash. Yeah. You're so I, strong. I think that once, because if I'm done with bodybuilding, then I'll just focus in on other stuff do just fun for fun. Stuff? Yeah. Yeah, 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 like Muay Thai and then like powerlifting. Like, Cause it'd be cool to do a meet. I've always wanted to do one. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. I've always wanted to get like a 15, 1600 total. Like, oh, yeah. I think that'd be sick. Yeah, I have numbers in my head that I would want to hit at a meet already. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so you've been thinking yeah. about it. I have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Bart. It's a really good like power lift squat. <laughs> it's pretty like balanced, like between like quad and like hips. Yeah. Yeah, so you can like really like use both like quads and glutes to really like yeah, yeah, come up. up there. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> the only difference is I only have like 170 something pounds. Yeah. Is that what you weighed today? 179. Wow. And uh, it's pretty crazy to me. We're almost around the same weight. I think I'm maybe like 182 or so. Maybe 183. Right. You know, after last night, probably like 184. <laughs> yeah. I'm like one pound heavier because yeah, of the yeah. sodium. Yeah, yeah. But you feel it on the way, on the mm -hmm. rebound. Yeah. You know, when you're like nice and like, like you bubbly, feel good. you go like, yeah. yeah, spring up. This one's like, ugh. Uh. That impeccable form. Ooh. What's up? That impeccable form. Thanks, dude. I blacked out. It looked good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On the on the Friday on the Friday workouts on the single leg leg press. Yeah. I try to get like crazy deep, deep, deep as deep. possible. Yeah. yeah. Big stretch. Yeah. All the way up until like you know when you feel like your heel starting to come off. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. And you I use your splash shoe on that? Um, just these guys. This yeah. is more all-purpose walking around. Flat? It's, like yeah, yeah. it's flat with a little bit of heel. A little, small heel? Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes I like to use my squat shoes, my heels start to lift. Just to get, oh. Yeah, that way, you know, stays on a little bit longer. Yeah. So, when I'm doing my warm-up sets, if I, if I know I have an exercise where I have a ton of plates that I'm gonna be putting on, um, typically for the first like two or three warm-up sets, I'll do more reps. Uh, and then after that, just to, save time and energy, I might only do two or three reps. That way I'm ramping up a bit faster and I'll only have to rest maybe a minute or so in between each of those ramp up sets so I can put plates on pretty quick. Yeah, that way I'm not set spending like, you know, 30, 40 minutes just ramping up to one working set. <laughs> and what's it here? 
That feels good though when your belt starts getting It actually tight. does, yeah. It feels like it's working. It feels like progress, mm -hmm. huh? So like even like, oh, skinny Have you been boy. measuring your waist at all? No, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't either, but that's a nice way to tell. Yeah, I actually think I might need to put in a screw extra. Oh man, I left my attachment at home. Oh, no, at your house. <laughs> I brought a little thing. Just oh, okay. Yeah. That flew up. So you're gonna go four or five by six today? I'm gonna try. You're gonna get it. I'm gonna try to get six. Easy. It's probably gonna take everything I got and the oatmeal I ate this morning. Dude, it's gonna be so easy. Hope so. That'll be a, that'll be a true PR. Yeah, like yeah. lifetime. Lifetime under 180. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 That's sick. Usually my anytime I go under 180, yeah. my squats. Are How many like, dots is that? At least 700. Wilts. Yeah, at least 700. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know the system for that. <laughs> Dude. How big is your waist right now? You're on the smallest one, right? The smallest one. Where, where's where's yours at? I'm on the smallest one too, but I was surprised because you were saying you might even need to tighten it more, right? I could tighten it probably one more. I guess I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, or you just have thought, more muscle. Honestly, I put it on. I was like, I thought it'd be looser, you and I was like, have oh. more muscle. Hmm. Not good, doing as good as I thought, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you're lean though. Thanks, dude. I hope this feels so light. Let's go, JP. This is easy. This is warm up. <sighs> Woo! Damn. I might hit seven. <laughs> like a fucking piston. <laughs> seven, please. Shit. <sighs> Watch when I get into my uh, powerlifting era. You'll see my back squats. I'm actually very proud of like my form for those. Yeah. Because I felt like I had a really good barbell back squat when I used to actually do them. Are you gonna do you do like low bar, high bar, or high bar? You think you would compete high bar? Because some people compete high bar. I don't know if I would compete high bar, but I, back then I just didn't have the mobility to get oh, into a low bar. Oh yeah. Uh, but I think I'd probably be stronger low bar. Oh okay. Yeah. Because some people's high bar is actually like insanely strong. Yeah. And what helps them out is if they compete high bar. They, they almost have that much more in the tank for deadlifts. Huh. Because it's so quad dominant. Yeah, that makes sense. Versus like, like for me, if I go like all out 10 on my third attempt, yeah. it, I kind of have to like bump down 10, 20 pounds on the deadlift because I use the same muscles. I think I'd have to play with it then. Yeah. yeah I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's so crazy it's like, that it's like for powerlifters, you know, max out, max out, max out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be so drained after that. Three plates. It felt good but not the best. Not like last week. Um, that's the part that kind of sucks where I did go heavy a little bit on deadlift too. So I feel it in my mid back where it feels a little bit tight. But sometimes, and that's why I try not to rely too much on feel. Sometimes my shittiest feeling days, the weights actually move the best. And it could be because it makes me more conscious rather than just like exploding all out. So um, that's why I'm taking a baby jump. I usually don't do a three and a quarter, but I think it's good just to kind of really gauge where I feel, especially with the lighter weight. Like every increment could throw me off. So we'll see. Let's go, Bart. Easy rep. Nice. That's fast. Yeah, I have some days where my warm-up sets feel so slow, but yeah. then once I actually get to my working weight, like it starts flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or sometimes like the pre-workout kicks into yeah. it and I'm like, yes, that's it'll what be, I was waiting for. It'll be weird, like 225 <laughs> will feel heavier than like my like, you know, like four or five set, for example. Yeah. Yeah, it'll feel worse. That was like, literally my deadlift on uh, Friday. Yeah. 405, I was like, Just like, oh, this is no good. I yeah, put on 455 was even slower. Yeah. But I was like, dude, I came here to came, hit five plates and then the five plates was flying. Blue? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I was that's just pretty How many reps you get? I ended up getting four. Four reps. I probably could have got five. Conventional. Conventional. I probably could have got five, that's but um, I didn't want to like affect today's workout too bad. Yeah, so yeah, I stopped yeah. like an RP eight, eight and a half. 
That's solid. Not even like close to failure then, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, I guess yeah. it's close to failure, but yeah. 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 <laughs> it's pretty close. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, RP8 is like very tough for people at home. Like, especially it's, when it's heavy. It's harder than you think. Yeah, yeah especially when it's heavy because it's like almost every rep, it yeah. almost feels like you're jumping by two RPEs. Yeah. I mean, even RP7 is tough and like people think that's like an easy deload, you know? Yeah. But like RP7, your like weight should still be slowing, you know, significantly. So you're still pushing really hard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Holy shit! That's six plates. God Hopefully, I can do seven. Fucking damn. Nice. So I'm gonna go for like four to six. If four feels like really easy, yeah. Then I'm just gonna cut it there. Or if three feels like super easy, then I'll probably cut it and try like six seven. and a quarter or seven. Oh. This is definitely easier than the one at home though, because <laughs> like five and a half is like stupid hard and five flew on this one. Let's go, JP. Yep. There we go. Nice. Let's go, JP. Yeah, cut it. Now go up. How many was that? Five? Five. Oh, good. I kind of want to try seven. I think I'm done with my workout. <laughs> <laughs> this seven is basically four plates. That's, no, it's Barbell. basically seven. Seven. <laughs> seven plates is basically seven. I'm oh. done. Try it. My legs just fly off. Get it. Nice. Come on, Barb. Let's go, let's go. Rep it out. Nice, come on. Run it. Nice. Big breath, come on. Come on. Last one, last one. Get it up. Come on, let's go. Push, push, push. Ah! That was it. Fuck yeah, dude. Did I get six? That was six, bro. So I forgot what <laughs> count, what number I was Hell on. Hell yeah. God damn. That was a good grind. Huh? I rested two minutes between every rep. That was a good grind. Oh, shit. Thank you. Nice. In the 170s. Now I can go home. <laughs> <laughs> Workout's done. <laughs> no more. The drop set, I'll do 135. Right. <laughs> Let's go, JP! Yup, I right, wait. Easy money. Yup, there we go. Easy, let's go. Yup. Uh, ah. Nice. There you go. Up, 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 up. Oh. Oh. All right, that's good. Yeah, wrap it up. We're done. <laughs> that was a lot of fucking weight though. Nice, bro. Holy shit. So I did a heavy set of squats, hit the six reps that I wanted. Very, very, very happy with that because my lower back on the right was starting to get tight and I was like, no, why, why now? Um, but I was able to muscle through it, so that feels really good. So um, now to get a little bit more quad dominant, I was gonna do a back offset with low bar, but I was like, you know what? That was a really good set in terms of the power for the power building part. So let me focus more on the bodybuilding part. And so I dropped weight way more. Now I'm gonna do high bar, really focus on the quads because I was really, really, really happy with that set.
It's I think I probably even tough more than you on this. Uh, actually feels not too bad today. Today it just feels like I have a condom on. You know when you're doing it, and then it just feels like it has a little bit less feeling? That's what it feels like right here, like. A little numb. Like this one I feel like, oh, full squeeze, full yeah, activation. Yeah. This one feels just a little bit like, got like a when Trojan I, condom. I partially tore this labrum when I was like 19. Yeah. So it took like two, three years to be able to get that good feel again. Two, three years? Yeah, yeah, It was like two, three years of just like shitty, like shoulder pain on and off. God, yeah. yeah. Having to just like really like perfect form. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's where I really started to like focus in on like form for everything. Yeah. Just because I was like, I never want to deal with this again. Yeah. So, I kind of want to try 110, but I feel like it's going to be really heavy. Do 110. Yeah. I'll, I'll spot, spot you me? for reps too, yeah. Cool. Old school. I want to get at least three. Old school bodybuilder yeah, stuff. If I can get at least three, I'm happy. Yeah. You do one and I'll do 10 with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, dude, I'm going to get embarrassed. No, this is so heavy. You got this. <laughs> no. I could tell this is heavy, but I'm hoping it's one of those things where I get it up and it's just like... You like it heavy. by the wrists or the elbows? Uh, elbows. I got you. Let me... Yeah, yeah, Let me see. Let's go, JP! Yep. yep. There you go. Nice! Yep. Two more, let's go. Last one. Last one. Ugh. Woo! Damn. It was a good set of curls for you, huh? And that was all you. That was a PR for <laughs> you, bro. All you, dude. Oh, yeah. Damn, that was all out, huh? That's heavy. That's really heavy. Yeah. Yeah. My thing is, like, if I think I can even maybe do it, like 40%, yeah. and I know I can do it with like decent form, I'd rather at least try it. Yeah. You know? And even if I can only get three reps, that's still pretty good, um, because three, three effective reps, so yeah. a lot of reps for like stimulus for hypertrophy, so. Yeah, and now, especially like the closer you get to failure, those five reps is the most effective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to get Most there. mechanical tension, so. Yeah. yeah, three out of those five, really good. Yeah. Lower than that, it would take a lot to accumulate enough volume yeah hypertrophy wise so i wouldn't really do like singles or doubles but at my old yeah. school uh, bodybuilding gym where i first started training at uh, there wasn't as much science back then yeah but they had a lot of anecdotal type evidence mm -hmm. that they would do and then one of the things that we all did was like like let's say we're on our last heavy set of inclines yeah if you could only do one more rep and you can't do any more then everyone will just force you to do like a five second eccentric. Cool. It's almost like between that nine and a half and 10 RPE, like yeah. how much more tension can, can you, you squeeze out? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Versus like someone just completely helping you, you know? There's so many power lifters that are just like yoked because they go so hard in that three to five rep range. Yeah. So it's still super effective. Yeah. Like stupid bus swole. God. Swole for no reason. That dude's so annoying. Uh, really annoying. I hate how big and strong he is. And handsome. And he speaks Chinese. Does he actually? Yeah. Let's go, Bart. Oh, super easy. Come on.
nice. nice. Ah. Come on, wrap it up. Ah. There you go. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. He was like, oh, it's only four exercises. It's not enough, dude. Yeah, if you push yourself. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. You're not doing enough. Like, don't blame it on the exercises. I think that one set of squats like took out 75% of my gas tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, like, after that, I could have just left the gym and been fine. And I, I had oatmeal this morning. <laughs> I would have felt very accomplished if we just left after that. Yeah. Let's go, JP. Nice, yep. Nice stretch. Nice. Oh. God, it's like my gas tank for pressing just runs out so quick. You also just did 110s. Oh. And yeah, you yeah. also just did, for like, like, I don't know, like three forced reps. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh. Let's get it, Bart. Nice. Good stretch. You got it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, nice. Shit. God damn. Man. Okay. I didn't know if I'd have to spot you on that, but. <laughs> oh my God. All right, dips? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can do it too. Easy? I would say it's easy. <laughs> you want the quarter? Uh, I'll do it after. After? Yeah. Oh, uh, just like a little warm up? Yeah. I like to like rush my warm ups to I save time the and then yeah, my yeah. real sets I take a little more time. Let's get it, Bart. Easy money. Come on. Let's go. Let's work. Nice. Push it. Come on. That was good. How many was that? Six. So I got to get at least six. It's two and a quarter? Yeah. Oh. I think, I think I might have gotten like six or seven last set. That was already hard, dude. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Go, JP. I almost didn't make it. <laughs> Woo. Damn, those quads. Damn, that's some good form right there. Shit. That's the warm up. For real? Was yeah. that a warm up or a, a legit set? Warm up. Warm up? Yeah. Just feel it out. Be easy for you. Oh, what the fuck? That's a warm up? Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. Dude, JP always goes like, what the fuck? 
dude, my whole my fucking whole ass came off. <laughs> you just like flipped? Yeah, I flexed and it turned into like a, a sissy squad yeah. or whatever. I was like, what the fuck? Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, much better. You might be strong enough to do that, just like a shock initially. It's so different from like a squat or something. I don't think so. No? I just started doing leg extensions maybe like six or eight months ago. Yeah. Have you been using like the adductor machine too? No. no. I want to get a sneaky set of that in. Uh, nice. Damn. This actually feels like. Look at those. those quads the whole stack damn damn play a player <sighs> holy shit <sighs> nice you really pull yourself into the seat there you go nice <sighs> Look at that tempo <sighs> You go, Bar. Come on. Uh, Keep pushing. You got more. Uh, nice. Come on. Push it. Uh, couple more. Couple more. Uh, if you can still get it all the way up, you got more. Uh, Dude, easy. Come on. You got I, more. I don't think so. You have more. Maybe. You I'll do two more sets. King, sand King Sandbagger. <laughs> Bart's actually way stronger than he. No, I, my quads are only eight years old. Even uh, barbell squats, he could have easily put another plate on, but he made it look so <laughs> yeah, hard. Yeah, for six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why'd you why'd you make it look so hard, dude? Yeah, I I pretty much go like three, four, nine on purpose, you know. Yeah, RPE three. Yeah. What was it the whole stack again? Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I think I can get at least six to eight, maybe. Damn. Or at least five, with a pause. Yeah. Yeah, that form's crazy. There we go. Damn. Oof. Shit. That's it. That's it. Huh? Go home. All right. Do a uh, front relax. Quarter turn to the right. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The poses should be similar for yours, right? Yeah. Quarter turn to the right. So rear relax. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Oh, I don't think I'm trying. I'm not trying to. There you go, there you go. Front double bicep. Do you guys do a front lat spread? We just hit it. I don't know. Front lat spread. I don't have any lats. Open up, open, open them. Oh, side chest. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is the hardest part of the workout. Side tricep. I 
Yeah. Yeah, your side chart looks nice. You got nice abs. What's next? Uh, I think my most poses. comfortable is the most muscular. Yeah? After, after. Gentlemen, face the rear. <laughs> All right, back double by. Last breath. Me? Wait a minute. This wall? I'm tired. I already ran out of energy. Yeah. Most muscular? <laughs> yeah. Pull your thumbs back further. Yeah, hook them there. I feel like I have a mobility issue or something. Leave them. Okay. Now think about turning your pinkies into your side, so like rotating this forward. Yeah, yeah. So open up your upper back. Chest up. There, there you go. You want to rotate into it. Fuck. Rotate into it. Yeah. Just rotate into it. <laughs> it might be part of your shoulder issue there. I think so. I it's hard for you to protract. Yeah. Yeah, because it doesn't look like you're getting as much movement here. Is there like any exercise I can do to uh, band push throughs? Oh. Or even just like on the dips? Oh. Pushing through okay, like that. Okay, I start doing those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just might be just like a. That kind of motion? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can like really, like with a cable or like a band, you can really feel it when you like push all the way through. Okay. Like work your serratus anterior. Yeah, yeah that might help it, with that. Is post. it sticking out now or no? Cool. You're a front double? Like round up, like you see how you're, you you're externally here. rotate. Yeah. Go. So hands back, yeah, yeah, a little bit, and then bring the elbows slightly forward while pushing the hands a little bit back. There you go. Your lats pop out a lot more yeah, that way. Yeah. So now put this down. So relax. Relax your arms go like this. So you, right now you're going like this. Yeah. Be up more. I think that's really just like what you can pull out. That, because I mean, if you look at the front double bicep, it's not really that much more like lat sticking out. Yeah. Uh, it just looks more because your hands are like up like this, mm. so it looks like more of a taper. Yeah. Yeah. I think what you're gonna have to do is kind of like hide it almost. So you might have to put your hands a little bit higher up perhaps even. Um, not that high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like, like right under like your lats maybe. And then like kind of push your waist in as you're moving forward to create more of that taper. Um, and it'll like look visually better as you get leaner. Um, but you also don't want to have your shoulders round so far forward that now your chest is looking small. Because like when I hit this pose, for example, like, sorry. I'm still open with it. Like my shoulders aren't here, oh. right? So you're, you're making yourself look small because you're not necessarily bringing, opening up your upper back, but you're pushing your shoulders forward more, you know? Whereas I'm kind of doing like a drop and a scoop. Because my lats are pushed out here, right? Relax, really quick. Relax your shoulder. There you go. This. Relax. Don't flex this at all. Open this. Yes. There you go. Yes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's way better. I mean, at least in the back. And then lean back a bit. Just like open up your upper back. So you actually want to, I wouldn't lean back on stage though. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, just because the judges are down there. So if you lean back, they're just going to see this angle, like straight to the like bottom of your chin. I just got to do this exercise more. Well, I think, no, just visually me cueing you to like push these shoulder blades out. Like I saw your lats immediately pop more. And this actually looks really good from the back. Like just rotate, maintain that. Like that's actually like a pretty good back lat spread for you. <laughs> when you, did this one, but your hands you just have to hook your thumbs a little further back. Yeah. And now push this out. Brain doesn't listen. That looked a lot better though. Just like Thank pushing you. the shoulder blades. Yeah. So we just finished our workout. This is week six. Pretty happy to be able to hit a PR, like literally mid program. Yeah. 179, hit 405 for six on week six. Feels really good. That has literally never happened before. I was prepared, 
to be by the end of the program hitting 405 for one. Yeah, just like continuous decrease of strength? Yeah, like yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way down to 1. The yeah. fact that I got 6 under As 180. he's losing weight? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Feels really good. Um, it's always really good to train with JPIC and push the intensity on like all the movements. So it really motivates me. How's your think, training been? I think Bart's got a few more in him though, even still. Are you sure? I think, yeah. You could've got 405 or 7? R that was RPE 6. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> But no, training's been awesome. Uh, I mean, aside from my little boo-boos, uh, been working around them and feeling really good. I, my strength is actually, yeah, I've been continuing to go up. Like, so when I first started this program with Bart, when I first came to shoot, uh, I was on the hack squat. I think the same exact hack squat, and I think I might have done five or six plates. But this time I was able to do seven for like the same amount of reps or even more. So yeah, strength has been continuing to go up. Weight's been going down. We're getting leaner. Feeling good. Yeah, and the split's been really good too. Um, I usually don't... I train pressing and legs mm -hmm. on the same day. Yeah. But that was something that JP was like, let's do that on Monday. And I'm like, okay, so we'll be kind of uh, programmed around it. But what I like about that is that leaves all my pull muscles, like lats, biceps, like extremely fresh. We take Tuesday off. Then on Wednesday, when I hit all my back, I can go like 110%, like, yeah. like super hard. And then we have zero legs, zero pressing movements on Wednesday. So on Friday, when we hit it again, you still feel fresh. It just feels like, um, yeah. It feels like the amount of recovery I've been getting, it feels like I've been taking two weeks off at a time, Yeah. but I'm, I'm not. It's just like like intelligent programming, you know? That's what I like about this style of programming. You know, the, the volume isn't the highest and people go into it maybe going, oh, it's only you know, four exercises, like, you know, two to three sets maybe for some things. But even still, if you're pushing it hard enough on those, that's plenty. Because by the time we were done with these four exercises, we're toasted. Even after he was done with the squats, we could have we just left, you know, yeah, felt accomplished. To if you're training hard enough, then it's plenty. I feel like that's kind of where like real bodybuilders are differentiated in those last like two to three weeks where you're kind of just, you know, dragging a bit, but also genetics play a big role in that because I've had some clients who even like week leading up to the show, they've always just felt awesome, even though they're single digit body fat. Whereas me, as soon as I start to dip below like 10%, I just, I just want to eat everything and I feel, you know, really cranky, uh, but you just try not to be hangry all the time and just, you know, keep a little good mood going. For me, it's been a, um the more I could plan out the next day, the better. Yeah. So like if you've ever done any like endurance sport, like a marathon or just any anytime like you have like little markers, you know, mm -hmm. like even if you're swimming, I'm gonna swim four laps today. You kind of know this is the amount of energy I need for lap one, lap two, lap three, lap four. So even for me, um, before I enter the next day, I'll kind of place out when my meals are. Yeah. And then so that's almost like me, like you know when you're swimming and you're tired and you hold on to the side lanes. You know you got something, you know. Yeah. So a little I safety. Yeah. So I usually don't eat anything yeah. until like 12 or one. Yeah. So I know okay if I can just tough it out till 12 or one, I get a protein shake. Yeah. And then if I'm really hungry, I'll even put some Fair Life in the protein shake because there's like casein in it, so it makes me feel more full. Then I chill out, have a couple of little pretzels two hours later, yeah. and then wait all the way until five or six, and I have a big meal. So by me being able to kind of like pre-plan the next day the day before has helped me out tremendously because right now I'm only at 1600 calories and if I just ate without planning it's easy to just pound 3,000 easy yeah, yeah, or, yeah. Or, or take in like 800 calories in the beginning of the day yeah and now you have another 12 hours to just That's a like, light breakfast normally yeah yeah to just struggle through so now I, I know and then I've even adapted it where um, like I have a family so mm -hmm. we go out to eat and stuff so now I'll go okay cool if I'm gonna have a heavy breakfast then I'll skip lunch or I'll do this for lunch, just lots of water or whatever, yeah. and then I get to have a dinner. So being able to kind of plan out my day and my meals beforehand has helped me get through this cut pretty good. Yeah, I basically do the same thing. Like before we went in training here, I just had a little shake and then we'll get home. I'll probably just have some lean meats or something. Then if we go get some heavier for dinner, I'm good. Yeah, like tonight we're about to get uh, all you can eat sushi. So for me, what that means is when I go home, I get to have a protein shake. Then for lunch, I'll literally have two ground beef patties with one tablespoon of ketchup each and then maybe some cauliflower yeah and that's like under 400 calories but right. super filling right well, yeah over yeah. 50 grams of protein and then for dinner i could go crazy yeah thank you guys for following us along our stud muffins series to shredding me and jp are literally prepping for our own bodybuilding shows one on the west coast one on the east coast in case you're tuning in midway if you want to take it over yeah. Yeah, 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 whole country. At the same time, in yeah, August, yeah. we're taking over. So if you want to run the exact same program we're running, it's the Stud Muffins program. You can get in the link below, and you could be a Stud Muffin to 
Chaka, tsa, 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 tsa